Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Hasbro Interactive Case. This is our team member. Founded in 1923, Hasbro is committed to create the world's best play experience by leveraging its beloved brands, including Mr. Photohead, Monopoly, My Little Pony, Play-Doh, Candyland, and Star War. With a belief that interactive games had a brilliant future, Hasbro formed Hasbro Interactive as a separate division in 1995. Also appointed Mr. Dusenbury on charge of all the operational decision. After established, Hasbro Interactive immediately generated revenues with five of Hasbro's exiting CD-ROM products. The income also doubled in next three years. An aggressive revenue goal of reaching $1 billion within three years was set. However, when closed the books for 1999, Hasbro Interactive had lost of $74 million on $237 million in revenues. What are the causes of the downfall of Hasbro Interactive? We think there are communication, motivation, and risk issue existing in Hasbro Interactive. The first issue in Hasbro Interactive is poor communication, which direct resulted in unhealthy corporate culture and poor corporation performance. As we can see, there is little communication between Hasbro and Hasbro Interactive. As an example, Hasbro Interactive initiated a Monopoly promotion with Burger King, however, Hasbro already had the Monopoly promotion with McDonald's. Moreover, the internal executives of Hasbro Interactive lacked communication. Conflict between Ms. Dyer and Mr. Dusenbari as well as Hasbro Interactive's employees. Within a few days of staring work in new position, Ms. Dyer began implementing more exacting financial system. However, this changes was not welcomed by Mr. Dusenbury. All of the hold their views against each other than communicating to solve this disagreement. The risk issue is the second reason of Hasbro Interactive's downfall. In the early years, the profit of Hasbro Interactive had been increased continuously, which made the company become more aggressive to set revenue targets. Under the pressure of high target, Mr. Dusenbury was taking large risk to make more acquisitions and licensing deals. Also, most of the company's risky initiatives had to succeed, however these risky strategies led to undesirable consequences such as missing deadline, losing holiday sales and exceeding initial developing budget. All these failures led to the third issue, lack of motivation. Studies shows that people are more motivated and confident with attainable targets while tend to lose motivation if targets are unrealistic. A series of goals set by Hasbro Interactive couldn't be achieved even after some of them had been adjusted, which made employees lose of engaging in company business. At the same time, several division heads lose confidence in supporting Hasbro Interactive. Even Mr. Dusenbury himself began making inquiries about career options outside of Hasbro. So, what caused these issues? Now we will analyze them from two aspects, personality and social contexts. For the personality of Mr. Dusenbury, he has high level of extroversion and emotional stability, which all in the Big Five personality model. Extroversion is related to engagement within internal and external environment, which includes gregariousness, assertiveness and positive emotions. Mr. Dusenbury was very optimistic, even when the company appeared to lose money. However he had overconfident bias which means he tends to be overconfident about his abilities. For specific, Mr. Dusenbury was overconfident in two ambitions for $1 billion revenues target without considering the real situation. In addition, he was lack of self-awareness. Self-awareness means knowing about own strengths and weakness. Clearly, he wasn't aware of his limits in finance and operation, and focused only on acquisitions. When Miss Dyer adopted tightening financial system, he just felt Miss Dyer was preventing them from achieving their targets. Miss Dyer, however, had low extroversion and high secure. When she was hired, she held a negative attitude over Mr. Dusenbury's investment and tried to enforce tightening control. As we can see, 
Miss Dyer's personality is totally different from Mr. Dusenbury. Moreover, Miss Dyer is a conserved manager, who never seek to verify her self-concept via the superficial concept of success. While Mr. Dusenbury is quite greedy for bigger success, for Alan Hassenfeld, he has high level of agreeableness. Agreeableness in Plod's trust, understanding and forgiveness. When Mr. Dusenbury took charge of Hasbro Interactive, Mr. Hassenfeld totally trusted the ability of Decentbury and seldom intervened in the decision-making of Hasbro Interactive. He also continued to support Mr. Dusenbury even though the senior executives had already lost confidence for Hasbro Interactive. Despite the manager's personalities, Hasbro Interactive's downfall also associated with social context. Inconsonant team dynamics may result in poor communication. Dynamics are affected by roles and responsibilities and have a direct on the behavioral relationships of intergroup communication. In this case, Miss Dyer was assigned to cut cost and improve performance. Mr. Dusenbury and his employees, while, are driven by achieving $1 billion goal. Another cause of poor communication is systematic barriers, such as the inefficient or inappropriate information systems and communication channels. The delay in transforming information and new financial reporting software package both block effective communication. As for the causes of risk issues, the announcement of Hasbro's arch-rival Mattel acquisition and the encouragement from Wall Street gave Hasbro too much pressure, and caused that the whole company was aggressive in setting unrealistic revenues targets and frequent mergers and acquisitions without considering the potential consequence. Also within the company, all the stakeholders showed poor motivation. The fist factor is that Mr. Dusenbury set some aggressive targets which were unable to be achieved and had suffered many times of failure. According to the three needs theory, a person's motivation will decrease if they fail to achieve goals or targets and unable to make accomplishments in daily work activities, and further lead to dissatisfaction and demotivation amongst Hasbro Interactive employees. In addition, high rich urine, high frequencies of missing product development deadlines and unexpected costs decreased the perceived working security of employees. Just as expectancy theory explained, if people feel that they cannot accomplish activities that lead to rewards, motivation efforts will decrease. To solve these problems of poor communication, risk issue and lack of motivation, we propose several recommendations. Frisley. The company need to build information exchange platform immediately, repair the inefficient or inappropriate information systems and ensure business information to be shared timely and correct. Secondly, we advise Hasbro and Hasbro Interactive to set multiple communication channels. For instance, regular meetings for communicating targets and gathering feedbacks should be held between Mr. Dusenbari and Hasbro executives. Thirdly, both managers and employees need to take communication and coaching lessons, especially listening skills. Lastly, it is important to create positive communication climate to encourage teamwork, to ensure transparency and to foster an opening culture. Mr. Dusenbari need to seek employees' opinions on big decisions. For risk issue, we recommend the company should pay more attention to recruitment and selection for some important positions by applying personality tests to find proper candidates. Also they have to link the individual's personality and values to the organization in order to achieve person-organization fit, person-environment fit and person-job fit. Hasbro Interactive should combine the delegation and proper decision-making process and increase the engagement of employees to help organization do proper decision-making process, rather than just decided by Mr. Dusenbury. We also propose thresh suggestions for Hasbro Interactive to promote motivation. First, managers can enhance employees' motivation by setting more specific, acceptable goals, with detail that have been illustrated previously under risk issues. Second, feedback is a good approach to make the employees find out how they behaved within the company, and understand in which areas they need to improve. Further, employees can be motivated using the correct amount of pressure according to the feedback provided. Third, 
Adapting effective reward system is another key to motivate employees. Managers should reward employees according to their performance and needs through an effective reward package with monetary and non-monetary benefit. By doing so, employees who are driven by personal benefits will be encouraged to perform better to get rewards. Okay, now we have finished our presentation. Thank you for your watching.